Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Service history, 27th of 10th, 2014 at 7,806 miles, the Bullsdale Land Rover. 23rd of 10th, 2015 at 14,868 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 27th of 10th, 2016 at 21,756 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 6th of the 10th, 2017 at 28,351 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 10th of the 10th, 2018 at 35,865 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 2nd of the 10th, 2019 at 42,674 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 2nd of the 10th, 2020 at 48,830 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. It's a 2.2 SD4 pure tech all wheel drive. 2013 on a 63 plate, has done 63,234 miles, one registered owner, fuel economy, urban 42.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 54.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 49.6 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 9.5 seconds, a top speed of 124 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 190 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £93.50 and 12 months is £170. So lovely colour combination. I think it's called Mauritius Blue, but I suppose I should have checked that before I, I came out. Uh, high pressure headlamp wash. We've got front parking sensors here, the silver Range Rover badge. Wheel arch protectors, uh, plastic. It's got a matching set of Michelins all around. 20 inch alloy wheels. The mud flaps and the door and sill protectors there. Piano black window surrounds and also uh, a pillar there. Electric boot release. We've got the color coded uh, tailgate spoiler at the top there. Plenty of room in the back, uh, split folding rear seats, nice low uh, level entry if you've got a, a pet to jump in the back there, don't have to jump over a sill or anything. Have the reversing sensors there. Black leather, um, it's got the Meridian speakers, so real good sound system. Airbags in the B pillar, in the C pillar, and also in the D pillar in the back, so nice and safe environment. Your magazine net here. Rear central armrest, two cup holders. I'll just see. Little storage compartment for you. <laughs> I was going to say the kids' phones, but it's not like they're going to put them down, is it? So <laughs> that's unneeded. Rear seats are sculptured. Nice, uh, nice position. High seat back. And even though the, the, this headrest wasn't pushed up there, it wasn't really sticking in my back, which, which most do. But anyway, once, you, once you've got them set at adult height, lovely. Uh, twin stitches, you've got the Isofix rear seat child anchor point. No, <laughs> that's probably illegal. You've got the Isofix child seat anchor point, not child. I'll just take you for a ride in it. There we go. Two Range Rover stroke Land Rover keys. Just put them in there. Hope they don't rattle. It's keyless ignition, so foot on the clutch. Stop start button. And then. Uh, we'll just Keep a comb full of these and then head out. Sorry, audio book. I did switch it off, but as as soon as you uh, once it's paired to the um, audio system, as soon as you get in, if your audio or, or your music's on on your phone, it'll play through the through the system. So that's what happened there. We've, we've got a, a warning light uh, on the dash, but that's only um, 
smart key battery is low and then we'll go a <laughs> bit of a, a train morning <laughs> the, uh, that mobile home was parked over here this morning where I usually film um, so I was filming over there and then uh, the lady in that silver car pulled up next to me the, the, and uh, said uh, I'm not ruining your shot am I? <laughs> no <laughs> of course when you say something like that to somebody you know you're ruining the shot and I know you know that you're ruining the shot but there was all the car parked apart and then uh, she proceeded to open the tailgate, sit in the boot, lie down and start reading a book. So, but lovely day for it. So as I say, I really like this uh, colour of blue. And uh, let's just see if we can get comfortable. Just need to be a little bit further back. Got an electric seat height and adjustment there, like so. And I think it's just a wheel to move the back. Um, lovely driving position, great driving knees. Got the Meridian speakers, nicely finish the car off and match this uh, aluminium or brushed aluminium inset to the dash and round the gear tunnel. Got heated seats there, got a heated front windscreen. It's a uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel multi-function steering wheel that is you've got your audio controls on the left telephone controls there and then you've got cruise control and typical Land Rover cruise control on one switch press that's it and I'm uh, there's probably anybody who knows I'm a big fan of Land Rovers and Range Rovers they're at home here in the country on these roads and going over cattle grids you have a nice um, nice view elevated position lovely to drive absorb all the bumps I think this chap's in a hurry Six speed manual gearbox, nice light clutch, easy gear change. They're very pleasant to drive. The seat's getting a bit warm now. Quite, it's quite chilly out there this morning. Nice uh, soft dashboard again with the uh, stitching to match the seats. That's my uh, cup of coffee, <laughs> not uh, nothing to do with the car. Just getting a little. I'm just going to move that as we get to Death Corner coming the other way. That little rattle you could hear, uh, I've just had my charger in the power socket, I took the plastic cover out, that was rolling about, I'll put that back. favourite four-wheel drive of this particular size, the kind of sporty um, fashion accessory four-wheel drive type.
keys are rattling now. <laughs> well balanced vehicle, not too harsh through the steering. No feedback through the steering or negative feedback like uh, there is in the GL models of Mercedes-Benz, tyres fighting against each other. Feels like the car's crabbing. This is just very, very nice. front central armrest here and in the front central armrest there's another power socket um, a USB in an auxiliary in well wow, that couldn't be in the worst place could it Lovely morning. remember to cut the service history in uh, to the car because I uh, hurriedly picked it up when I was leaving last night and I've picked up the <laughs> I've hurriedly picked up the wrong service history Now remove the keys from this, from here that were rattling, driving me mad. So the good thing about a SUV type vehicle in the country is you can see things coming over the walls and over the hedges. Just set that little bit higher. Good all round visibility. This has got a get your home wheel in the back as well, not just an inflation kit. The 20 inch wheels I think were a, an optional extra to a fair old cost. working towards our goal of specialising in Land Rovers and Range Rovers. I think uh, the majority of our stock at the moment, although we are well down on stock, but the majority is uh, Land Rover product. another one of these evokes to film um, the orange discovery that I did the other day that's um, that's sold very quickly we 
got a white Discovery. It's a lovely car with a, I think that's got pan roof too. So uh, hopefully I'll be videoing that in the next couple of days. Really is a nice, well balanced vehicle. said before this this little stretch reminds me of uh, Lombard Drive in uh, San Francisco the bendiest I think it's the bendiest road in the world which I drove down in a PT cruiser It's a very nice car to drive. Economical too, good size engine. Engine's well suited to the vehicle. Well matched to the gearbox. Good enough acceleration, cruising speed. Brakes all good, no judders.
Oh, they'll be meeting any big camper vans coming the other way and ending up down there. It's a lovely car. Nothing to report to the mechanics as far as driving goes. So far this morning, we've done 35 miles. I'm looking at his map book, I've obviously not got a phone or a sat nav there. Unless he's looking for inspiration, could be around here. Some great places to go. I think I might have to stop and te check my text messages. So anyway, I finished the test drive there. Lovely vehicle, got sat nav, Bluetooth audio streaming, Bluetooth hands free. Very, very nice to drive. Nice to look at. And uh, another good car that John's managed to uh, acquire for us. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.